Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion and we'll be taking a look at the ASUS AI Suite 2 software for the new ASUS X79 motherboards. Basically for all segments it's AI Suite will look the same. So let's go ahead and start by <coughs> So let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the settings tab. Under the settings tab you have applications. Now what you can do is you can turn on or turn off the specific applications that you want or don't want to use in the AI suite. Under bar it'll basically show you how to use the bar itself on the bottom here because if I did that of course the bar will disappear it'll go to the side it'll come back so let's go ahead and click on that settings again so you could actually adjust your bar and it also has an auto hide that if you click you can set the amount of seconds to auto hide, hide the bar itself so let's move on to the auto tuning setting basically what's going to happen when you click on auto tuning it's going to terminate everything it'll start auto tuning it you will actually reboot your system a few times and it will auto tune itself to the best possible performance levels that your CPU and system are, uh, are able to obtain if we go into the tool settings of course we have turbo EVO and that will bring up your profiles and show you what your frequencies are base clock, v-core, DRAM, channel A, B, C, D CPU, VCSA, VCCSA voltage and all the way down to the VTT, DDR, AB voltage now basically these settings can be changed manually just by scrolling over them and moving them so if you would like to do some performance tuning via AI suite you should have no problem doing that of course we're in advanced mode right now if we go to CPU ratio you can click the on button to activate the ratio and what that's going to do it's going to reboot your computer and when upon reboot you will be able to actually raise your your core ratios, the multiplier on your cores just by going up or down on them with your cursor. Under the CPU strap, if you saw my BIOS video, you saw that you can use a CPU strap to increase base clock frequencies. You could go all the way up to 250. Course 250 I have not seen at this time work unless I really lower the multiplier down quite quite low so that's just borrowing from Peter to pay Paul 166 I have gotten the system to boot up with but I did find that it was fairly unstable even by lowering multiplier settings where I have found the sweet spot to be is at about 125 now what this does is it raises your base clock frequency to the 125 megahertz strap you can adjust from there probably to about 130 on your base clock you're not going to get much more out of that so you can figure five up five down then of course on the bottom of that we have the OS default settings you have an undo and then you have an apply button of course you can also save any type of overclocking profile that you that you wish so you would have to save your settings first and then click OK and then you can name your profile and your profiles will show under here right now of course I do have a save profile 34 which basically is 3.4 gigahertz and that's roughly what stock speeds are on this uh, on this CPU actually 3.3 gigahertz on the right side here you have your CPU frequency you also have CPU usage for your cores 
you could go ahead and change to look at what all your cores are running at by clicking this button. And then of course we have our Digi Power Control which would be our next setting. You could either go to CPU Power or DRAM Power. If you click on CPU Power, your load line calibration, VCCSA, what you want to set that to, current capability, VCC. SA current capability, your CPU voltage frequencies, spread spectrum, fixed frequency, phase, phase control. As you saw in the BIOS video, you could set that all the way to manual adjust, extreme, optimized, or standard. Of course, your power duty control, T probe, or extreme. We'll go ahead back and then we'll go ahead and hit the DRAM. And the DRAM basically is has the same options of setting your voltage frequencies and your current capabilities. Our next tab will be Fan Expert. Fan Expert can be used to set limits or maximums for fans. Basically this is on the default setting now and based on the temperature of the CPU is where I could set the fans to go to different different speeds so when I'm overclocking and I know that I'm probably going to get to about 80 I might want to go to a hundred percent and lower that from death <laughs> of course uh, all right, let's set that to user. I might want to set that to 80 degrees or even higher. So I could regulate my fan temperatures based on the temperature. So this, this makes it fairly easy. So you could actually do this via here or you could do this in the BIOS. So I could raise this. I could raise my lower, I could change all these limits on where I want to go and where I want my, my fan speeds to be. And of course you could run a test and it'll test those it'll test those frequencies and then set it and of course hit the apply button and there you go. Now we also have a sensor button on here and basically this shows what your what your voltages are, what your CPU temperature is, your motherboard temperature, CPU fan speed, chassis fan, your V-core, your 12 volt rails, 5 volt rails, and 3.3 volt rails. Our next tab is going to be probe 2. And basically what probe 2 does is it sets thresholds and gives you alerts based on what currents are on your system. So if you were to set an alert to if you were set to set this to alert you when your 3 volt rails gone go down to say 2.9, it's going to alert you when it does that. It'll also alert you upon your your temperature. CPU temperature, it'll alert you when it hits 80 degrees, motherboard temperature 60 degrees. It'll alert you when your fan speeds are, are reaching their thresholds. And also it'll give you a pop-up window to tell you this and show you your temperature units in Fahrenheit or Celsius. And it will stay up for a cycle of how many seconds you choose it to stay up. Then of course you have an alert log. And this will also tell you when you had abnormalities of your cores or your temperatures or your fan speeds. Sensor recorder, this basically records your V-core voltage, 12 volt, 5 volt and 3 volt rails. Once you start recording it will record where they are. As you can see they're starting to move. 12 volt rails appear to be stable. 5 volt rails stable. 3 volt rails stable and of course the V-Core which is on a stable stable path at this time. Then we have our temperature monitor, our fan speed monitor, 
and our history recorder. So you can record things so you can keep an eye on it to make sure that your system is stable. Then of course the SSD caching, if you saw the uh, video about SSD caching, you'll understand that this is the X79 boards do not contain Intel SRT SSD caching. It's not an option at this time via in Intel on the X79 Express chipset. So ASUS has developed their their version of SSD caching which works very well and I feel that it probably works a little bit better than Intel's SRT. If we move over to monitor of course we have our sensors and we have our SSD caching monitor. Sensors are going to show you your vCore etc which we saw in other screens before and of course again CPU frequency. So this has been a quick overview of the ASUS AI Suite 2 software that comes with every ASUS motherboard, segment board, enthusiast board, tough board of the X79 line of ASUS uh, motherboards. Thank you very much for watching. Visit www.hitechlegion.com for the full review. See you next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Bye-bye.